Is that not a nice, pretty, quiet Duratec? Holy cow. This thing's quiet. Cannot believe how quiet it's running. I don't know if it's because of that uh, oil I'm using or what the deal is. This thing's quiet. Now I've went over this both, I don't know, a few times. But as you can see, if you can get there, the fans aren't running. Nothing's moving. Nothing at all. These fans are dead still. I just started the engine, turned the climate control off, the engine's cold, it hasn't kicked on yet. And it won't kick on until the engine gets hot. Now I have kicked on the AC. Guess what fan started? Both of them. They're both running. Both fans are running. This one's running, this one's running. Why? Because the AC is on. So, you turn off the AC, both fans will shut off. The AC draws through the radiator. The AC draws through the condenser. Okay? The transmission cooler is also drawing through the condenser. So the fans have a lot of jobs to do. Also, you look at here, if you have towing, you will have two connectors rather than one. If you don't have towing like this one, you have one connector. It runs into the fuse box up here, and then you'll have two relays for your fans. Whereas I only have one relay. But in this case, if one fan ain't working and your AC is heating up, then you have a fan that ain't working. It's that simple, folks. Your fan is done. A lot of people say, well, I want to replace that controller. We have a whole list of uh, people that have tried this. And we have a whole list of people that failed. Now, these connectors right here, are the culprits a lot of times in aftermarket. They don't fit very well. And you have to literally force them in and then you're not even sure if they're gonna stay. So that's one of the problems there. But as you can see, the fans are running full speed because I have the AC on. Now, let's go ahead and turn the climate control off. It's nice and cool. Who is it cool? I'm hot too. It's like 95 degrees out or something like that. It's getting hot. Now, both fans are still running. So we'll wait for the condenser to finish its job. Now while we're waiting for these fans to shut off, I do want to point out a couple of things. People say, hey, I'm having problems while I'm driving with the AC or the engine's overheating. Here's the scenario, folks, and you watch the video. Watch this video and uh, also know that whatever happens is because the fans just turned off, too. But if you have enough speed and your AC starts working, <laughs> guess what? Your fans aren't working. It's all about speed, folks, because the fans make up for that lack of speed. If your engine's overheating in town, but it don't in overheat on the interstate, it's your fans. It's your fans. It's your fans. Now we start checking to see if our fans are working. When you're generally running over more than 45 miles per hour, your fans will not be on because you have enough sufficient airflow through the uh, condenser and through the radiator to keep the fans from turning on. But as we go below 45 miles per hour, you should start seeing the fans turn on. 
which uh, should happen pretty soon. I'm right at 45 mile an hour. Oops, now traffic was speeding up, so they didn't kick on. But I'll let you know what our speed is when they do kick on. Generally, anything uh, below 45 is going to start getting the temperature. You can see the ECT is at 203 degrees. Uh, so that was with the airflow going over. I'm doing over 53 now. So once we get slowed down here, you should see these fans kick on. And uh, there, we should see something going on. I'm hitting the brakes now and we're dropping to 40 and that we're at 40 and they kicked on. So now I'm in town traffic coming up to a red light and my speed is uh, about 10 mile an hour going up again. So, you can see the fans are definitely working and they're cooling like they're supposed to. And I'm over 45 mile an hour. So, you can see that 45, 40, 45 is where your fans are going to be either on or off to cool the engine. So, if you're having heating, you know, overheating issues with your fans, uh, you know, or your engine, check your fans. Four scan light here on my phone, as you can see, will track it. Now we're definitely stopped at the uh, stop light, and you can see the temperature, the e ECT is starting to climb up a bit, and the power is at 50% for the fans. That, that means they're not running full speed because now we're just now starting to slow down. But once we start getting warmer, I would say 200 and I want to say 214 degrees, uh, the fans will be 100%. I don't think we'll get that hot, but we might. We'll see. We'll see what they do. And as it gets warmer, they speed up. It's not an all or nothing thing. It's a percentage game. And uh, the traffic, as far as that goes, uh, you know, plays a lot into it. And I'm definitely in some stuck traffic here, so uh, we'll probably be climbing up pretty good because I'm only moving about like 10 mile an hour if that and stop and go traffic. So you can see those uh, percentages are going up. Now you got the fan DSD, that's the desired, and then the fan DC, okay, uh, that's the control. So, you know, basically what it's trying to do is optimize what your fans are going to be running at and uh, as the temperature goes up for the ECT so does the power requirements less flow more fan speed that's pretty much how it's set up now I'm able to get moving a little bit up to about 30 miles an hour and you can see that it's trying to drive down just a little bit accelerating a little so that'll get things changing up too and I'm about 30 degree 30 miles per hour and that's my collision alarm <laughs> is what it is right yeah my wife's got this thing set and I've never changed it it's overly sensitive but you see I got up to about 40 and uh, the temperature definitely dropped a bit. So here I'm going to get up to about 45. And these fans should shut down again. I'm at 40 miles an hour now. And 45. And as you can see the fans have shut down again. So running at about 50 mile an hour. Don't tell the city police department I'm four mile an hour over the speed limit. 
holy cow. But just trying to prove a little bit on how these fans work and your temperatures and everything else, as you can see. Uh, but the temperature is going down. I will say that uh, this this Ford Edge, it's a 2011 with a 3.5 front wheel drive, uh, it runs a little bit warmer by about five degrees or so compared to my other 2011 that I sold, which was which I called Lulu Bell. So this one runs a little bit warmer, but not much. Transmission runs cooler, so. Uh, you know, give and take on the sensors. But you can see the now I'm running below 40 miles per hour and uh, slowing down even more dramatically. It's almost a stop. I'll see if I can get over again. As you can see, I'm getting up to 45 mile an hour and they shut down. That's how the system works, folks. So when you complain that your car is overheating while it's in town, that's why your fans aren't working. Your fans aren't working at all because they should be running just like these are right now and uh, pulling in the, the percentage of power and everything else that we're looking at. And as the temperature goes up, like I said, the fans will increase their speed. I have the air conditioning on right now and full max AC and uh, I'm definitely stopped and as you can see the fan power is starting to increase. Again, I'm moving and I'll probably get up to about 45 mile an hour or more again here in this stretch and then I'll be stuck at another traffic light maybe. And then uh, we can watch it climb up again and now I'm over 45 mile an hour. That is how it works. I may have caught this light just in time. We'll see. But while I'm waiting here at the light, we can see that uh, the engine coolant temperature is now going back up again. It's at 207. And the fans are running about 50%. And as the temperature goes up, so do the speed of the fans. That was a short light for me. I get to move. Move very slowly, if nothing else. see what's going to happen here on these fans. You never know. They might warm up. You never know what's going to happen with them. Temperature's climbing up a bit. Get a better job. Oh, darn gas pumps always want to give you advertisements. So let's see if we can get these things to uh, climb up a little bit hotter. As you can see, the longer I let it idle, the higher the demand on the fans can be. And believe it or not, it's jumping around because of the AC also. It's gonna prove me a liar in the temperature. The fans are going to keep the temperature down to two, 207. That means the fans are doing their job.
now both fans are running but at low speed because the engine is not that hot and the demand is not called for for high speed but they're both running now let's turn on the AC since this is engine heat only both fans are running but it will also speed up the fans when you turn the AC on so the engine's hot it's running and now they're shutting down because they cooled the engine down but both fans did run to cool the engine so let's go ahead and turn the AC on and we'll see that both fans are going to run a lot faster than they just did Well, this is how it worked out on my 2011. Both fans will turn on, but they will, as you saw in the video, adjust the power that they apply to the fans for the speed to draw air in, depending on the demands of the engine. So if the engine is really starting to get hot, the fans will speed up to as fast as they can go. But if there's less demand on getting rid of heat and it's just starting out, you'll have low power demand. Now the AC is a whole nother critter. And as you can see, when I turned the AC on, both fans were at full power. So if you're running the AC in town and the engine is, uh, is warm, it's mostly the AC that's powering up and wanting to do it. So uh, essentially, uh, does both sides or one side cool the engine? Both fans cool the engine both fans cool the AC and the power demand and the speed of the fans is dictated by the PCM based on the temperature and the function that's going on such as AC. So AC high speed all the way that's why your AC won't work if the one of the fans ain't working good because it's not providing enough cooling for the condenser. So uh, that's what my short story is on this. I hope you learned something from it. Remember, like, subscribe, join MacT Ford Edge. And also, uh, hey, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day, too. Mercy Grill's got a couple one-liners, and Band of One, hey, they got some great music. Thank you for watching MacT's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.